Welcome to the Dental Concierge walkthrough. Today I'm going to cover some of the basic ways that you can utilize the TDA Dental Concierge to make your submission to TSBDE more easy, to be able to track your CE that's required from the courses that you've taken, as well as browse courses that are available, setting reminders so that you know which courses you need to have completed, and then how you can submit all of that simply at the end should you be audited. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go to tdadentalconcierge.com. Once you're at this homepage, you can come up over here and click on either the register or the login button. If you don't have an account, you click on the register button. If you have uh, an account already, you just click on the login button. I already have a login, as you can see over here, and I'm going to go ahead and check myself in. The first thing that you're going to come across is a welcome back since I've been here previously, and this is my dashboard. So I'll go ahead and close that out. And some of the buttons that we're going to cover today include the license period, which you can manage very easily, the classes that you've taken, searching for classes, uploading CE, maybe creating your own custom objectives should you want to do that, and if you want to download or print your courses. So you'll notice that on the dashboard, you've got all of these different areas. You've got your technical or scientific requirements, risk management, controlled substances for DEA permit holders. And as you scroll down, you can see all the different courses that you may or may not need to take in order to be able to renew your TSBDE license. One of the nice things about being on the dashboard is that each one of these sections has information that's directly related to you regarding the requirements. So if you click on more info, for instance, on technical and scientific, it gives you the entire explanation for how this works. If you want to see what's required for controlled substances for DA permit holder, you click on the more info button to give you the exact example of what you need to do in order to be compliant to renew your license. There are a lot of different other ones as well, your self-study, human trafficking, and then you can see that this is uh, the explanation for what's required there. One of the nice things about using the TDA Dental Concierge is that you can actually see how much you've completed of your requirements. So for instance, on this particular license period, I've got 13 and a half hours completed. So that's 84.38% of my requirements. And you can see that my bar is yellow. Down over here, under a controlled substances for DA permit holder, you can see that I've actually completed more than the required two hours. So I've got it 100% complete, which turns my bar green. Same thing for controlled substances for direct patient care. Now, if we scroll down to human trafficking, you notice that it has a check mark right there, and that's because human trafficking is a completion course. It's not required to have a certain amount of hours in it. It's either an accepted HHSC course or it's not. So if we want to check what kind of classes are available, let's say I need a technical or scientific class, I can come over here to the search classes section, and I can see what's going to fit that. So I see safe and effective pain management is available. I'm curious about that. I can click on more info. Okay, so this class is four hours. It's gonna take place on Friday, November 18th at 4 p.m. List my event description, my objectives, et cetera, and what it would fit into right under here. So technical or scientific, risk management, record keeping, ethics, et cetera. Let's say that I've decided that I wanna do that. I can always add it and then pay for it in my cart. We'll go back to the dashboard and we can actually search my classes. So. I added it to my car, I paid for it, and here is safe and effective pain management when ethically prescribing opioids. I actually completed this class on August 26th and it took place at 8.30. However, if I wanna watch the class, I just click on this watch button right here. I read the class instructions, I hit the next button, it gives me the speaker, the description, title, all that. And then I come over here and I hit next and on the screen will appear my video. Now, once I've watched the entire video, I would hit the next button I would take my survey and I would retake my quiz and it would then give me my certificate of completion. Whenever I take a class within the ecosystem, I can view my certificate. It just opens up a new window and there it is. So one of the nice things about coming here, we'll go back to the dashboard, is that anything that's taken within the system will actually auto-generate the correct certificate for that particular course. And it automatically uploads the the certificate to the section that it applies to. So if it's technical or scientific and that's what you elect, it will automatically add the number of hours for that class as well as increase the bar for your completion rate. If you want to add a class from outside, which most people will be taking lots of classes outside of the dental concierge ecosystem, you could simply view or upload CE. Or you could come over here, let's say we have a technical or scientific class. We'll go ahead and say upload CE and complete an objective. 
we can put in class here, pulling teeth 101. Speaker name, Dr. Dental. We'll pick the date the class was taken. We'll say it was taken on Saturday, October 1st. It was worth two hours. It was a license period expiring in 2024. And we're going to call it technical or scientific. I agree that it's a class that's eligible for the CE. And now I'm going to upload my certificate. And go to my desktop. And on there, I actually have a certificate. And this can take PDFs or JPEGs. And now we're done. So we can view this certificate as well. And there it is. OK, so now we go back. And you'll notice the technical or scientific now has 15 and a half hours instead of the 13 and a half hours, which puts me really close to being completed for my license renewal requirements. As you go through, you can see that there's different courses that are on here. So for instance, the jurisprudence assessment, but let's say that we don't need to take anesthesia level four. We can go ahead and select actions and we can hit hide. And by hiding that, it shows that we don't really need it. So let's say that we also know that we need to take anesthesia level one and we're running out of time. We've got to get this done here pretty soon. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a reminder and we can set up reminders for everything. So we can add a reminder. We're going to pick a date that we need to get this done by October 26th. We're going to have a time of 2.31 p.m. because I know I'm done with my, all my patients at 2. I'm going to create a global reminder, and I'm going to go ahead and let it send me a text message and an email. And I'm going to say, take anesthesia course, exclamation points, because it's important. So we're going to add that reminder, and now it's right over here. So whenever we get to October 26th, it's going to send us a text message and an email. Now let's say that we want to add an objective because we want to do something different. For instance, we know that we want to remember that we've got to uh, get our fire extinguisher inspected. We're going to put a zero because there's no actual requirement there, but we know we need it. We're going to put it in this license period and we're going to submit. So now we're going to go back to our dashboard, scroll all the way down, and we've got fire extinguisher. And for a fire extinguisher, we know that we need to get it inspected on an annual basis. We go ahead and we can create our own reminder. Again, we'll pick a date. We'll say October 28th. A lot of stuff is happening in October. We're going to create a uh, reminder, text message, email, fire extinguisher inspection. Add that reminder right there. So you can go ahead and customize the dashboard in pretty much any way that you want. You're going to be able to add, change, delete, whatever you want to do with the different requirements. Now, one of the other ones that I've included in here, for example, was sleep apnea courses. I can say there's six hours required, and we can go ahead and put that in there. Now, at any point in time, if I want to look at the classes that I've completed, I click on my classes. I can see all this information right there. I can check on my certificates. If I view upload CE, I can view added CE. Now let's say that I added a course, this course called course. Now I noticed, man, I don't think I did that right. So I click on the edit button. I've got all my information in there, hours to, you know what, but that class, I don't think it was technical or scientific. I think it was actually self-study. So I'm gonna get rid of the technical or scientific and I submit that and then I'm complete. So now I can go back to my dashboard and then you can see that now my technical or scientific hours has changed from 15.5 to 13.5 and my self-study increased by an additional two hours. So the, the nice thing about this is that if you want to change something because you took a class that maybe meets one requirement but not the other, you can go ahead and do that. And it's very, very easy to accomplish any kinds of changes or anything like that. Again, if you have a class, for instance, that was in your previous license period, but you want to carry it over. We can go over to my last license period. You can see I've accomplished a lot of my requirements. Now we're going to view added CE. And I'm going to edit hello. I'm going to say that this was actually in 2024. Then I submit it. Now I can go back to my dashboard. And you can see that this is now no longer meeting the requirements. If I go to February 2024, you can see that I'm back up to 15 and a half hours. So the nice thing is that because you can carry over certain hours, you have the ability to cross-reference from one license period to another instead of being stuck trying to delete it and then add it all together again. So you have a lot of flexibility. You can go and check for classes that are available that you've taken. You can go and check for classes that are available for sale. 
You can get any additional information from them. A lot of these are on demand, so you can take them at your leisure. You can do this uh, on your phone or on your iPad or other tablet, and you can always do it on your desktop, which is also very convenient. So you have a bunch of different choices. Let's say that you get the dreaded letter saying that you are going to be audited. Now all you have to do is hit download or print. It takes you to the screen and you make the choice that you would like to do there. You always go back and you're back at your dashboard. We certainly hope that this has been helpful for you in order to be able to maximize the TDA Dental Concierge program. Again, you can find this both in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, and you can do all of the same functionality on your phones or on your tablets. And then again, you can always log into your desktop and uh, do it on that computer as well. Thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful day.